Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the SRE Toolkit Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract FastSkill files from SRE sessions. So, to do the extractions, you need to first do a prefetch where you download the SRE files and then you use FastSkill Dump to do the extraction. So that is what we are going to do today. So in order for you to follow this tutorial, you need to make sure you have installed SRE toolkits. And I have a separate video that shows you how to do this. The link to that video is in the description box. So please use that to set up your SRE toolkits. Now, what we are going to do is to take examples from both single length sequences and then pair them with. So that is what we are going to do. So after you have installed SRE toolkits, you open your terminal. I am using a Linux system. So to make my activities more organized and separated from my other files, I will create a directory first. So I say make the SRE underscore data. And then I will cd to that directory. So I have that done. The next thing to do is to configure the prefetch tool so that all downloads are saved in your current directory. So this is my current directory. When I do pwd, I get my current directory. This is it. So I want all files downloaded to be saved here. So I'll use the VDB config. So I say VDB config and then I add this option prefetch dash to dash CWD. Then I set my current working directory as where files should be saved. So now we are ready to go. So we begin with single end sequences. So we start with prefetch and then we do faster kill them. So I'm going to demonstrate using this as session number that I'm displaying right now. So that is what we are going to use. I also leave this as session number in the description box in case you want to get it. So I say prefetch and then I indicate that session number. So there's a single end read. So I have it there. So I run and then let prefetch download the SRE files. Here you get SRE file and it's just one of them, I think. So you just wait. So download has been done. So if it's successful, you will have this text being displayed here for you. And you also have some information here. That's if you want to read more. So let's do an LS. And you see a directory has been created. So in this directory, you have the SRA file. So LS and you have it here. So we can now move on to the next step. So let's clear the screen. And then we continue. So you will then use faster kill dump to extract the fast kill file. So we say faster kill dump. We specify the session ID. And then that's it. So by default, it's using the split three option. So single reads will be written. So we run it. And then it's done. So we'll do an ls and you see your fast your file here. You can also consider maybe compressing it using gzip or other tools, but that's something you will do later on. So this is how we do it with single end sequences. Now let's move on to paired end. So with a paired end, let's just create another directory. Make the paired end. Let's use this. Let's cd to it so that we separate that from your other files. Okay, so do an ls is empty. That's what we want so that we separate them. So with paired end, 
there are two options you can choose from. You have the split files and the split thread. Let's look at the options here first. So let's type faster kill down. So you have some information here. So the option you have to use either this or that. So the split files here means that your roots have mid pairs. So if you know your roots have mid pairs, then you use this option here. If some of your reads do not have mid pairs, then use the split clear so that those without mid pairs will also be written to a different file. So that is how you do it. But for this tutorial, I'll be using this option here. So take note of that. If you want to look at how to use the split clear, there's a tutorial online. I will leave that link the description box so that you can use that to also check how the split thread is used so let's proceed let's clear the screen first and then we can continue so with the paired end which reads all have mid pairs i'm going to use this assertion id as an example that is what i'm showing right now again i'll leave this also in the description box so we use prefetch so say prefetch and then we specify the session ID. So this is my session ID, and then I run it. Please note that the time taken to download depends on the file size as well. And prefetch will also take some space as well. So we have it done, it's downloaded. So let's do an ls and you'll find the file here. So ls into it. And you have your SRA file. So now we use faster kill dump to extract. So you see faster kill dump. We type our accession ID. We use our option splits files. You can also add another option here called skip technica. I mean, you, you just have to read about the options and look at the ones which are appropriate for you. So just look on the wiki page and then you run it. So it's done. Do an ls and you'll find your risk there. You have read one, read two. That's um, the first your files that we have extracted. So this is how we do it with paired and if all your reads have made pairs. So there are a number of tricks you can also use to make your SRA toolkits and extraction faster, but these things will be covered in later tutorials. So please watch out for those ones as well. So once you have your fast cure files extracted, you can choose to remove or delete the SRA files just to save some space. So that'll be all for this tutorial and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye. Yeah.